Fantastic, Ted. Uh, first of all, apologies that uh, I'm dressed this way. Seems a lot of the other people put some work into it. A guy came in with a tuxedo. But if you know me, this is dressed up for me. If I'm at home, I'm usually in my underwear. That's a lie. I'm usually naked. That's a lie. I'm, I'm homeless. <clears throat> Fantastic. Thanks for coughing and spreading your germs. That's good. Uh, most of everything you've heard today, actually everything you've heard today is a lie. All of the speakers, especially Max, everything he said was a lie before me. He has a beard. You can't trust him. People with beards always lie. Is that right? Uh, Osama bin Laden and Santa Claus, neither of whom actually existed. They, uh, they, they told me the topic of the speech today was green, money. And uh, so I wrote a big speech on money, and then I got here and they told me my segment would be about moving forward. More lies. Thank you so much, Ted. So what I'm gonna do is auction off these letters. We're gonna start with the T, and someone is gonna walk out of here with the T and make some, make some green moving forward. Uh, would you like to start with the uh, opening bid, uh, the man with the camera? Very good, okay, we'll just, uh, uh, we'll, we'll start the bidding on this at uh, 5,000, uh, whatever f fake money you have here in China, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, the X will be a little bit smaller of a fee because it's, it's a smaller letter and uh, don't worry ma'am, I'll give you the D for free afterwards. <laughs> How inappropriate. No, everything's a lie. That's all we do as humans is we lie, okay? That's, if animals made one singular noise, either moo or meow, and humans did that, this is the noise we'd make. Bullshit! That's the noise we make. We lie so much on a daily basis, we don't even catch ourselves. Hey, how you doing? You don't care. I'm doing great. No, you're not. We lie so much, we actually have to tell other people when we're not lying. Someone asks you your opinion, you're like, uh, well, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and then you lie anyway. <laughs> we are liars, that's all we do. Uh, they, uh, they like to tell you money is important in your lives. No, it isn't, money's not important. You think that's gonna save you through the hard times? You gotta, you gotta forge bonds with your fellow humans, okay? The, your loved ones. That's, that's what really counts, and that's what I found out in my journey through comedy. Uh, I, I, started, I started doing comedy a long time ago because it was, you know, the last of my options. Uh, <laughs> but for many of you, uh, you're, you're hard at work, you're on that treadmill. They're, they're trying to make you follow the rules and play along with the game so you earn more money, so you can buy more stuff, so you can get the bigger Samsung phone. I came from a time where phones were big and you wish they were smaller, now they're getting bigger again. It's an endless cycle of lies that they're trying to feed you. It's horrible. Uh, it's, it, uh, you guys don't even, like, I, I see a lot of young people here, like you especially, uh, you, you, you break my heart at how young and fragile your world is. I'm an old guy, you can't tell, because I'm Asian. <laughs> I just turned 74. <laughs> Asians hold it together to about 80. And then God pulls the spine out of our body. <laughs> You've seen old Asians walking around Central, haven't you? Just sort of. But they got you on that treadmill of life, trying to get you to earn money, trying to, trying to take your focus away from what's really going on out there, like the Occupy Central. Oh my God, just people, uh, just we want to be more like America. Oh, you already have fake democracy. What more do you want, Hong Kong? People camping out in the streets for six weeks in a row? Do you know all the Filipino helpers are like, we didn't have to pack up every week? <laughs> it's 
more lies, more lies that they tell you. That's all we do is we lie. Uh, it, uh, you know what the biggest segment of liars in the world is? Nightclub DJs. Nightclub DJs don't even contribute any new art. They take someone else's art, put it on, and they're like, <laughs> Second biggest bogus part of society, life coaches. Ugh, life coaches. They don't help you through anything. They just spout off things they read on Pinterest. So you're like, how am I gonna get through this? And they're like, don't worry. The cream always rises to the top. Oh. Well, turds flow too sometimes. We're all liars. That's what the world is all about. I'll tell you what, uh, it's, it's, it, and it's not about money either, okay? I, uh, money's not gonna save you during the hard times. When I was a kid, uh, I wanted a dog. And then I'm gonna get personal here for a little bit. I wanted a dog, and we never had dogs when I was a kid. Uh, we had cats, we had birds, we had fish, we had mice, mice. My dad, would, he, we'd let us have mice, we couldn't have dogs. So finally I saved up my money and I left. And I, one, years later I bought my own house and I was able to get my first dog. And uh, I rescued him from a pound and he was, he was my best friend for seven years, seven years. Uh, we did everything together, we went everywhere and it was, uh, I love that guy. And um, then he got leukemia. And all the money I had couldn't save him from leukemia. He, uh, Dogs aren't supposed to get leukemia, are they? No, they're not. Dogs are supposed to get uh, rug burns on their buttholes. They're not supposed to get leukemia. But uh, so we put him through medicine and, and therapy and he still died and I was sad. And uh, then I had him cremated instead of stuffed. And I regret that. And I'm not going to make that mistake again with my wife. It's just a question of what position I want them to stuff her in, just curled up by the fireplace, or maybe like a bear. Ah! People come into your house, oh my God, what is that? I was just my wife, hang your bag on the hand. Ah! Money's not going to save you. This is what I learned from my dad. My dad uh, was a frugal guy and he grew up poor. He grew up way worse than poor, but he scratched and he clawed his way up to broke and then he had children. <laughs> this is what he taught me. We used to beg him for, for the latest video games. I remember when I was a kid, Atari first came out, the first Atari 2600. It was uh, just horrible looking back on it now. It just every, I'm a character, you're a square. But we wanted that. We're like, Dad, we, need, we didn't just want it. We needed that. Dad, we need that new video game. And my dad, who was a hippie and also Asian American, sat me down and schooled me using math and the Beatles. Here's what he said. Son, sit down. You don't need a video game. That's what he said. He said, here's what the Beatles said, right? The love you take is equal to the love you make. Express mathematically. That's X plus love equals X minus love. <laughs> Solving for love, that's two times love equals X minus X, or love equals zero. <laughs> the Beatles also said, all you need is love. And since we know love equals zero, all you need is nothing. <laughs> nothing is all you need. My name is Paul Ogata. Thank you guys very much. Good night. <laughs>